Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please email me directly for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched as a limited edition of 400 pieces in 2019. This is the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Camouflage, a combination of stainless steel and green ceramic. The watch is 44 millimeters in diameter, 14.5 millimeters thick. Two different ways to measure it across the wrist. One is 55.7 millimeters if you include just the case. If you include these little plots, these intermediate links, they actually project out and increase the span across the wrist to about 58.8 millimeters. So this is a big watch, make no mistake there. When you take a look at it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it is broad. It wears almost like an IWC big pilot in terms of size. And I think that's a real good comparison if you want to reference a standard round cased watch. I would not wear this watch on a wrist smaller than mine. I think 16 centimeters circumference is gonna be your lower limit here. The watch is not as thick as I expected. That is one respect in which it's actually fairly compact for its size and complexity. But you can see from over the top, it's right out to the edge of my wrist. And even as I move my wrist away from the camera and you can see the watch in proportion to my full forearm, it still looks quite large and it feels quite substantial. You really do understand what you're getting here. The watch costs a lot, but you get a lot. The signature piece of the watch, besides the color-coordinated dial and bezel, the camouflage strap. Now, the camouflage strap, as you can see, is an AP factory piece in brand new condition, and it has a number of different textures, tones, everything from black to light green. It almost has a sherbet green mixed in with those other colors. No, you're not going to disappear quite the opposite. This particular type of camouflage ensures that you will stand out, and it's handsomely made, striations molded in, continuing the character lines of the plots. You can see it's also a handsome frosted matte finish and then there's actually a continuation of the bevel down the shoulders of the strap itself the strap is held on by screws and bars which is the way it should be done this is a more expensive but also more secure system than the more common spring bars taking a look at the buckle it's about what you'd expect large ap branded satin finished and stainless steel to match the case the case is handsome and handsomely hand finished you can see there are some marks from wear on the flank not big things and you can't necessarily see them from some angles if they don't reflect a light, but I want to get close here. Pre-owned watches, full disclosure, that's my motto. The timepiece is nicely made. You can see that it's never been refinished and it has the factory satination across the lug hoods and the plots. More satination on the crown guard structures, but you can also see that lovely expanding bevel that expands from a hairline at the mid case to flared over the lug hoods. You can also see that the character line from the bezel continues through the mid case into the case back and we have a fully expressed bezel gasket in black below the bezel, which is a rounded off octagon Emmanuel Get took Gerald Genta's original 1992 Royal Oak design, and for the 20th anniversary of the original Royal Oak in 1992, he designed the Royal Oak Offshore Concept, which hit the market the next year. So you can see a little bit of Genta's design here, but also Get's design. You'll appreciate that he increased the size of that bezel gasket. It was always a hairline thing, kind of like the case back here on the original Royal Oak. It was never overt. Here it is a large exaggerated component to the watch's style that makes it feel more rugged. You can also see that the bezel is surprisingly complex with satination at its base, then the rounded polished flank. Across its top, there's a vertical satin finish, and then the octagonal form, which is rounded off to somewhat soften its appearance. That was inspired by a vintage diving helmet. The bolts are polished hexagonal, and they are in fact bolts of steel. There are nuts on the opposite side inside the case. That's how they are perfectly aligned around. You can also see the attention to detail is superb as there are small hairline bevels on the crown guard structures and you can see that the crown guards are held on by hex screws so if they ever get mangled you can have them replaced and then you can also appreciate that the pusher guards as well as the shoulder to the crown are all green ceramic to match the bezel if you want to really be impressed note that the sides the hexagonal sides of the crown shoulder they're satin finished and the outer face of that shoulder polished for contrast the dial is a minimally glossy mega tapisserie, the large est hobnail. Large would be grand tapisserie, and you find that in the 15500. Here we have mega, the biggest. And you have a tachymeter scale outboard, and you can see that that can be used with the chronograph seconds hand to, for instance, gauge the speed of a car over a kilometer. It is a speed measuring instrument, the tachymeter. The dial has a little bit of a silver 
hash scale and minute scale with cantilevered rhodium plated applique hour markers. And then there are lovely little polished chapter rings for the three registers, chronograph minutes, chronograph hours, and constant seconds. There is a magnifier on the dial so you can more easily see the date. The watch has both hacking seconds and a quick set date. And because the Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module uses a vertical clutch, you can actually see that there is no jump or stagger to the chronograph seconds hand. So you've got a vertical clutch engagement, quick set date, hacking seconds, all of it powered by this movement. This is the caliber 3126. It's the 3120 designed to mate with the chronograph module, bidirectional winding, ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency and minimal maintenance, full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock tolerance. It's a 59 joule movement with 365 parts. That's module and base caliber. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It is both very handsome and very tough, designed from the outset as a sports watch movement, and the watch, of course, is 100 meters water resistant and safe for swimming. Reach out to Team Osso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Back with the Royal Oak Offshore Camo, I don't think I mentioned in the video that the watch has a 50 to 55 hour automatic winding power reserve.